Kung yung kanina, ang pamantayan natin, dami ng prestation, our next classification is plurality na bumuno na ako. Ayaw nyo kasi magsalita. <laughs> Sinisip pa kaya, no? Plurality of parties. And we have here joint and solidarity obligation. Class, if you will recall any decisions that you have read, wherein there is plurality of debtors, take a look at the dispositive portion. And usually, what is the decision of the court? Is it joint or solidary? Usually, solidary. <laughs> Kung titignan mo, yung mga plurality of defendants. Kasi favorable kanino? Sa complainant. Why? Because between a joint and a solidary obligation, a solidary is more onerous. More onerous from the point of view of the debtor, but very advantageous on, from the point of view of the creditor. Why onerous on the po, po, from the point of view of the debtor? It's because although there are several debtors, if it is solidary, only one can be compelled to perform the entire obligation. And under your family code, give me an example of a solidary obligation which falls under here. Law or nature requires solidarity. In your family code, can you remember? Where in the law says a solidary obligation exists. Under special parental authority between the school, the teacher, the administrator. They are solidarily liable. In torts and damages. Diba? Under vicarious liability. Solidarity obligation. So do not forget those solidary obligations as provided under the civil code. Why? Because it's possible the examiner might ask you, give examples of a solidary obligation created by law. Now, joint obligation, this one is favorable to the debtor. Why? Even if there are several debtors, creditor can only demand from him his share. He cannot be compelled to fulfill the entire obligation. That is the reason why if there is no express stipulation as to what kind of obligation is involved, the presumption of the code is it is a joint obligation, not a solidary obligation. So again, this shows that the civil code is pro-debtor. Ang laging pinoprotektahan ang debtor, hindi ang creditor. Kanina sa alternative of facultative, siya ang may karapatang mamili. Dito, pag walang stipulation, anong klaseng liability, ang general rule, ang presumption, it is a joint obligation. So, maswerting debtor. So, maging debtor ka na lang. <laughs> ang dami mong ano. Okay? So, take note of the two exceptions. Uh, the, the two cases when there can be solidary liability expressly stipulated and law or nature requires solidarity. Aside from what I have mentioned, other cases wherein the law requires a solidary obligation under the revised penal code, 
liability among the co-principals, co-accomplices, co-accessories. Solidary obligation. Liability among the Baileys, Article 1945, Incomodatum, Solidary Obligation. Okay, take note of the following rule. When the object that is involved, if it has something to do with an obligation to give, prestation to give, okay? It is indivisible. And we said what is indivisible is that there can be no performance, no partial performance of the obligation. So kung titignan mo, the indivisibility of the obligation would be better connected if the obligation is solidary. Diba? Bakit? Kasi pag solidary, you can compel one debtor to fulfill the entire obligation. So walang problema. Indivisible, tapos isang tao lang, he can fulfill the entire obligation. There will be a problem if it is joint obligation, but at the same time, it is indivisible. So, it means, class, that an obligation can have other features. Meaning to say, it can be, there can be plurality of debtors. At the same time, it can be subject to a condition. At the same time, the performance can be partial or it may not be partial. So, wag niyong isipin that these classifications of obligations cannot coexist simultaneously. They can. Kaya wag kayong masyak kung halimbawa, eto joint obligation tapos at the same time pumasok yung indivisible obligation. Because it is a classification based on the quality of the obligation when you talk about indivisibility or divisibility. So, pwede siyang indivisible at the same time joint. Indivisible at the same time solidary. Because the solidarity and joint is a classification based on plurality of debtors or creditors. Okay? So, look at the effect if it is a joint Pag sinabi natin joint, di ba, only one debtor can perform his own share. He's not obliged to perform the entire obligation. Pero paano yun? Joint ang obligation, pero at the same time, indivisible. Now, what does the civil code provide? If, for example, one of the joint debtors would refuse to perform his obligation. Eh, sinasabi natin, indivisible then at the same time. So, that means, for that joint and indivisible obligation to be fully fulfilled, there should be what? a common desire of all of the joint debtors to perform their obligation. Paano yung pag-ayaw nung iba? Ikaw lang ang may gusto. E nagkataon, indivisible yung obligation. According to the civil code, it will now be converted into what? Indemnity for damages so that it can be quantified. So your corresponding share is the one that you can fulfill. Para bang, if A, B, and C are obliged to deliver a horse, si A gusto nang i-deliver, si B and C ayaw pa. 
hindi naman po pwedeng i-deliver ni A yung ulo, yung katawan at yung paa, mawawala. Hindi ba? Indivisible. So, it will be converted into an indemnity for damages and the share that is now quantified will now be delivered by A. Okay? Ito naman in case of insolvency. Kung si A, B, and C, joint debtors, naging insolvent si A, what happens? Others shall not be liable for his share. Now, let's take a look at the remission. When you say remission, condonation, pagpapatawad, and class, remember, in your labor law, there is condonation now of what? Penalties in case of non-remittance of your SSS contribution. <laughs> that is only until July of this year. So if you have not yet remitted your SSS contribution, you can avail of that because there is condonation according to the law. Okay, what is the effect of remission upon a solidary obligation? It depends if it is a total remission or a partial remission. Total remission, walang problema. Lahat ng debtors ay maaambunan ng grasya. <laughs> Wala ng problema. Pero partial, hindi na condone lahat. So that means it will just reduce the amount. And the balance remains a solidary credit. 